Welcome back, this is Yamma Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger, Ashwood Asylum, Suicidal. You know what? No, we don't have Gunslinger. No, we don't have Gunslinger. No, we don't. We have Commando. Ashwood Asylum, Suicidal. That's right, we're playing Commando today. We're playing Commando. We've played Gunslinger enough. <laughs> Not really, I like Gunslinger a lot. I like Gunslinger a lot. You can never play Gunslinger enough, okay? It's just you can't... No, there's no such thing as Gunslinger's been played enough, okay? It just doesn't exist. I'm sorry to, to be the bearer of bad news. There is there is no such thing. Really? There is no such thing. It is the greatest class of all time. And it's amazing. I started playing chess recently. Well, like, kind of. Uh, I've, I've made an account on chess.com, and I've, I've currently been doing some of the uh, puzzle rush things, the survival puzzle rush things. I get to... I'm not a very good chess player. I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. Uh, I've never played chess, really, before in my life. But recently, it's been all the rage, right? Like, they're... You know, well, not really recently, but summer was... was uh, chess was the thing, right? That you did? Uh, and Northern Lion has recently started making a chess series, and I've been following along, kind of listening to his remarks as he goes, the the strategy that he puts through, and how he puzzles things out, and he's not the greatest chess player of all time, he's not even a particularly exceptional chess player, he's a very good chess player, like, much better than I am, for sure, without any, even, like, shadow of a doubt. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's, uh, not necessarily the the pinnacle of chess either and it's been really really cool watching that because he's not the greatest uh, because you get to see the analysis afterwards and it kind of like goes through all of the mistakes that he made and he gets to learn and you get to learn and everybody's just having a good time and it's really been a, a total blast so I figured hey you know what uh, I'm gonna make an account on chess.com myself and and start to start to play a little bit of chess as well and, and maybe I'll be able to eventually um, be somewhat competent or, or you know be able to follow along a little bit easier with what's happening uh, in real time rather than having to kind of pause and understand it you know be able to kind of pick things up and figure it out as it goes kind of thing you know but um, I've, uh, I've been doing some of those puzzles. I get to typically about 500, you know, ELO or whatever it is, um, before I'm puzzled out on that. Typically about 500, so I'm not a very good chess player. Not at all, but it's okay. It has been fun, um, you know, trying to puzzle them out, and then, you know, again, it, gets, it shows you the analysis and what you should have done and, and what you did wrong and all that, and it's just, it's a really cool way to play chess in my opinion because chess is a fun game I think it's uh and I don't think there's many people out there who would argue that chess is not a fun game I think there are a lot of people out there who would argue that chess isn't necessarily their favorite game but I don't think there are many people out there who are going to argue that chess just isn't fun when you're playing somebody of an equal you know skill level as you or even when you're playing somebody who's like a billion times better than you like it's just uh, giant paper cut, or kind of a good time all around, early. right? Even if even if it's not something you're going to want to invest your time into, I think if somebody if somebody you know if your friend ends up getting a chess thing, a chess set or whatever, and they uh, they say, hey, you want to come over and play some chess? I reckon there's a pretty good chance that most people are going to say yes. Just because it's it's a good, you know, kind of like competitive, but still kind of lighthearted game that uh, engages your, you know, brain in a way that most other games kind of don't. And uh, just it's, it's just a good time all around. So. I've been, I've been having a good time doing it. I haven't actually played any against people yet. I've just been doing some of the puzzles to kind of work out some... Being able to recognize the game board and, and see problems and stuff a little bit easier. Learn a little bit as we go, and then I'm going to probably start to start to play against people of, uh, of a hopefully similar skill set to me. Um, 
you know, the people who get to, you know, about 500 or whatever. Um, and then uh, grow in, in, you know, through experience. I believe that chess is one of those things where if you learn early, you pretty much... You, you can't really... If, if you if you started on chess when you were like five years old, you know, you're, you're probably better, and you, and you haven't given up on it. You're probably better than I'll ever be able to be, right? I think I've talked about this before, but it's just like, you know, you, you, the, the more you do it, the better you get, right? So, you know, I, I can never compare it to somebody who's been doing it longer than me. I can get close, but, you know, they're, they're always going to be just, just one, I have, I have to fix my hair. They're always going to be just, just, you know, that one little bit ahead of me. Which is fine, I'm not trying to be the best chess player in the world. And I don't think it would be impossible for me to be if I were to really put in the time to learn everything. But, um, definitely I wouldn't be getting there with, 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 at the same age as other people. You know, if I were the same age as somebody and they've been doing it longer than me, I'm never going to be able to compete with them. It's, it's just, the way. and then they've been putting forth a, a valiant, serious effort towards it, you know? I'm never going to be able to compete with them. It's just the possibility just isn't there, you know, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but anyway, I uh, haven't actually started playing against people yet. Looking forward to doing that. But it's 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 fun, you know. It's fun to to do that. So I'll probably end up playing maybe a a couple of chess masters a day kind of thing. Not 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 much. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not wanting to turn chess into like a new hobby of mine necessarily. Well, a hobby, I guess, but. Not wanting to turn chess into, you know, my new thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to take up so much time that it's taking out of other things that I could be doing. But, I want to play chess. I want to be somebody who has at least a base understanding of how the game works and is able to, to play against somebody if I'm ever asked to play. And put up, uh, at least some degree of, uh... Of a, of a, you know, fight, you know? That's my goal, is to be somebody who, who isn't just a total pushover. Not somebody who's going to win every match I play, but somebody who, who you know, you they look at it and you're like, hey, you did okay. You know? They're, they're still going to be a little bit, you know, I'm better than you, you'll never beat me, but you did pretty good, you know? That's my, that's my goal. And I think I can get there. I think I can do that. I'm gonna try anyway, I'm certainly gonna try. Do you guys play chess? I wanna know how long you've been playing. What at what age did you start playing? If you're if you're a chess player, you know when when did you start? It just it doesn't do much damage is the thing. It's nuts. You really need those perk levels on Commando to feel like particularly great. Just doesn't really feel that good without them. You get so much ammunition and damage and stuff from from just being higher leveled, and you get like, like you get like just this stuff, okay? Perk weapon damage, reload speed, recoil reduction, end time refreshes. This is amazing, and then you get, you know, more ammo. You get more damage or more ammo, and then uh, the Z time stuff is of course amazing as well. Um, but you just it's, it's just it's a it's a really amazing kind of setup that you get on uh, on commando when when you're level 25 and then it's kind of a you know pretty meh setup you just you just got weapons you know it's not really nothing special about it until until you're 25 or at least like 20 regardless you're coming around over here oh what a whiff dude what a whiff what a whiff. Pathetic. We're gonna just go right about there. That should get the kills. I believe we did. I don't think I can one-shot the quarter pounds. Even if I get a headshot. We'll try it right here. Yeah, no, no, no one no head, no one shot, no one shot. Super disappointing in that. Or that's super disappointing rather. Because I, I rely on that, you know, the one shot with the, with this weapon. That's why I take this weapon. 
but whatever. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get we'll get there. You got a prestige, right? You got it's, everybody's got to go through it. If you want the twenty-five prestige, all you know, kind of stuff. This is what you got to go through. This is what you got to do. This is the commitment that you take when you when you do that. I do want to make sure that I get all of the uh, the achievements done before, and the personal achievements. So there's there's the achievements for Steam, you know, and then there are my own personal achievements that I also want to to succeed in, like getting all of my perks to max prestige and all that. It's not a it's not necessarily a official prestige. It's not a, a, an official achievement, but it's something I personally want to do before the uh, KF3 launches. I think we have time to do that though. Even just playing it on uh, on camera here. Maybe do some endless matches or something, eventually. I don't know. Um, what I do know is that we just whiffed that shot terribly. The KFP is one of the bosses where it's just not really fun when you've got the uh, explosive weapon because you just you don't get to use it because he rushes you down. You know, it's annoying. Here, launch me off of this, please. You didn't really get much of a launch. I'm a little bit disappointed in you. I thought you were better than that. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've been, I've been playing some some KF or uh, some chess. Is, is is really the moral of the story here? That's all we gotta. That's all we gotta say. But I gotta stretch it out to as long as I can to fill up the whole episode. You know, it's like the whole thing that I do here, right? Oh, what a whiff! That's some hitbox porn right there, though. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna be able to beat him, honestly. We do have the 501, which is is a good step for uh, for success here, for sure. But we don't we don't really have much damage, and we still have to go through his shields, which is like really bad. Like really, really bad, though. Because shields aren't even up yet. Okay, they're up. I'm so used to being on Gunslinger where you can just outrun this dude completely, you know? And then this guy is just, uh, you know, a commando. It's like an actually difficult fight with, with proper uh, management of all of your resources kind of being actually critical to your success. Which is, uh, we're just going to go ahead and close that. It'll stall him for a brief moment, enough to maybe take one less hit there, maybe. You know? Oh, God. That's not good. Again, stall him a little bit. Anything is, is better than nothing, you know? It actually stalled him a lot. Wow. That was way better than I expected. Oh, this is amazing. This is an amazing gain right here. Oh, God, that's not good. That's not good. Ooh, look at those clutch grenades right there. Oh, should have been using those way earlier. That's that's one of the benefits that Commando has for sure. Very genuinely powerful grenades. They're actually pretty, pretty potent. So we didn't actually break through that door. He just, he just kind of, you know, opened it. <laughs> He's a little bit of a nice guy, I guess. Okay, so we want to pop this right here, I think. Yes, beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Let's go! All right, that was a fight. That was a fight. And I'm proud of my performance. Could have been throwing more grenades, but I think they get uh, resistance to grenades over time anyway. This grenades really shredded his shield, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. Can uh, I tell you we're back to we're we're, we're back to, to gunslinger on this one. I, I had my commando fun. I want I want my relaxing gunslinger performance here. It's just easier to talk, you know. Like when you play a perk that you're good at and you know what you're doing, it's just, it's easier to like ramble about other stuff. So we're going back to gunslinger because that's what I want to do with my life right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm having fun with chess. I'm having fun with chess. It's a fun game. I like watching um, 
There's a, there's a sub called uh, IRL Smurfs. I'm talking about subreddits a lot. My favorite subs. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say an, uh, uh, a porn sub, but I was like, you know what? Probably just a better idea to not mention it on the YouTube channel because people might actually go to it and be like, "Ew, I don't want to see boobs." It's not really my favorite sub, anyway. I don't really. Um, I mean, we're getting into weird stuff now, I guess, but. I don't really, you know, the whole the whole porn thing. It's not really uh, my cup of tea so much. It's not really, you know, and it's just, it's, you know, after the after the hormones, it kind of I lost a lot of the um, initiative to to take on such a strenuous task. Any hoozle, any hoozle. Um. I like watching uh, an IRL Smurfs people with, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of them where, like, you have, like, you know, chess grandmaster or whatever ends up uh, sitting down and playing some random dude who has, like, a chess board set up in a park or something. Uh, those, are, those are always fun to watch. I like I like the IRL Smurfs stuff in general. Just seeing the, uh, you know, somebody who's really good at something showing up to a group of people who are... Not expecting there to be somebody who's really good at it show up, and then just you know show them up. I guess <laughs> I always I always really like that kind of stuff. I wanted to be a part of that, you know. Like I wanted to I wanted to do the uh, some IRL smoking. I just, I don't have anything that I really excel at, so can't really do that. God, there's so many topics. I'm, I'm still on the, the porn topic at this point. In my brain, you know? I'm, my, 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 wait, I'll take some water here. <coughs> um, my brain is still operating on the, on the porn at this moment. Not because I'm a fan of it necessarily, but just because it's, uh, there, there are so many topics that you can talk about with regards to that, you know? I could talk about um, Belle Delphine. You know, we could we could talk about her and how uh, how good she is at what she does. And we could talk about um, you know friends of mine who have uh, made contents, adult contents in the past. We we could talk about. Um, my own personal experience with it. We, I mean, there's, there's a billion topics that that you can talk about when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of them are interesting. I just, I've never, I never really made the step into to making that kind of content before, you know, to, to make on the channel anyway. Discussing uh, more adult topics like that. But I mean, this is kind of the adult channel of mine, so it fits. But I don't know. It's 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 a step that that you gotta you gotta be committed enough to take. And I just. For me, it's not something that, that I've really wanted to take in earnest yet. It's not a step I've wanted to take in earnest. I've definitely mentioned it offhanded, you know, a number of times, like in this episode, for instance. Um, I've, I've definitely mentioned it before. It's just I've never I've never had a, a video, you know, where I, I sat down and I talked about not the kind of porn that I watch because I would probably like never talk about that on this channel. That's more for the um. The other tube channel, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I don't talk on that channel. Um, but you gotta, you know, just just um, never more and more talking about e the porn industry as a whole. I've never I've never made that that switch. There's there's a big stigma around porn, you know, a, bit, a huge stigma. Huge stigma around it. And I don't. I don't necessarily think that there should be. Uh, but at the same time, it is like porn. So like, I, I guess it makes sense for there to be a stigma around it. I, I don't think that there should be. But there is, and it, it affects me too. Maybe I should be the change I want to see in the world. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do. Yeah, whatever. Um, maybe I should be the change I want to see in the world. 
but it's like a bloody Dickens novel. I just I don't know. It's 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 a, it's a I wanted the ammo. We have full ammo, but I wanted the ammo. It's a topic that's just hard to talk about as a, as a, as a content creator, you know. Maybe maybe I will talk about it at some point, but as I get more comfortable on the channel, perhaps I don't know. I don't know if it's a topic that people want me to talk about either. Is the other thing, you know, it's a very controversial thing. That's you know all the stigma around it, right? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. You know, it's not. It's not like I want to talk about. You know, what I was watching last night. You know, what what VTubers do I like? You know, it's it's uh again the the, the stuff that I would want to talk about it is uh sort of the system as a whole. My my stance on it and stuff, and and it as a as a concept rather than individual. You know videos and stuff um, but it's just it's it's a big step it's a big it's a big step and I'm not, I'm not ready for that step yet the other the other, the other thing is is it's, it's weird because I'm eventually gonna have um, this be my like vlogging channel probably or at least my vlogging channel for the more adult stuff and at that point I'm, I'm gonna be talking about uh, so I want I want to make educational ish um, videos for for other trans people uh, to be able to, to kind of look at. There are a bunch of trans vloggers and a bunch of resources for for trans people to to use, but I don't feel like many of them. Oh, jeez, I don't feel like many of them address a lot of the anxieties uh, and how to handle them and how to deal with them and how to work through them. You know, I don't feel like a lot of them go over that. I feel like a lot of them. What what it feels like to me. Is that uh, when I when I look at trans YouTube channels or something like that, vloggers and all of that, when I when I look at those, they talk about things from a non-trans or not from a non-trans perspective, but they they talk about them. It, it feels like their target audience isn't trans to me. You know, if it, it feels like their target audience typically is a lot of cis people who want to learn more about what it's like to be trans, you know? There's a lot of, well, yeah, like, what's it like to be trans, and how did I know I was trans, and all this kind of stuff, where it's more for the questioning or the cis people kind of thing. I, I don't feel like there's a lot of resources out there on YouTube, anyway, uh, for trans people who know that they're trans and just don't know what the heck they're doing on any fronts, you know? Like any front, I mean. Okay, you got you got your trans people who don't know how to get started and and like actually go get hormones and and help and and medicine and all this kind of stuff. They don't know how to do that. They don't know where to start. Like I didn't know what I was doing. You know, they're like, yeah, you just talk to your endo or whatever. I'm like, I don't even know. Like, how do you get to that point even? You know what I mean? Like, and, and the anxieties and how do you deal with it? And how do you get over this kind of stuff? I just for me, it just doesn't feel like there's all that much stuff out there for that kind of stuff. Um, so I've wanted to have my channel, or an alternate channel, which is probably going to be this one, um, go over that kind of stuff to, to discuss what it's like and how you, as, as a, you know, questioning or somebody who knows that you're trans and just doesn't know how to start, or, you know, at any point along the transition would be able to look to as a, as a point of, as a resource to, to, to make progress and stuff. On, on anything that they want, you know, the, the, the thing that you don't realize as, as somebody who isn't trans is that it affects a lot about, like, being trans. It affects a lot about how you do things. Um, that, that you wouldn't think about. So, you know, as a, as a trans person, as a trans woman, I have, uh, you know the the assigned male at birth hardware. It it doesn't work or get used um, the same way somebody who is cisgender male would use theirs, even though it's it's very similar hardware. You know what I mean? And there isn't an awful lot of resources out there on like what to expect and how to kind of handle those changes and stuff. In my opinion, anyway. So that would be like one of the topics that I'd be going over. And so now that we've gotten to this point where I'm talking about, yeah, so like I'm going to eventually probably talk about like how to masturbate as a trans person, <laughs> basically. I'm like, 
that that seems okay to me on the channel. But then then the instant I'm you know my brain has it where I want to talk about like you know the Belle Delphine drama or whatever that's going on or um you know my history with uh, wanting to 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 be in porn or whatever. Once once I'm at that point, it's like whoa, that's like weird, dude. But Talking about masturbation for some reason in the future on my blogging channel like isn't and I'm like I don't know that's it's this weird sort of internal conflict I guess that I have which I think is weird and interesting and stuff I don't know it's a weird episode it's a weird episode is this all I can say about that we've been having a lot of weird episodes lately maybe I'm maybe it's a sign of something we're not we're not alone. No, we're we're literally in a zombie infested like asylum. The last thing I would think we are is alone. Careful, close set. I heard it. It's the last thing I would I would think we are, okay? I want you like way over here though. I want you way the heck over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is okay. This is okay. Don't like that so much. Yeah, yeah, come come right on up. And then we can blast you down. Nice and easy. Beautiful performance. Anyway, weird episode. Um, expect vlogging content in like a couple of years, I guess. Money, anyone? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just be the change I want to see in the world and talk about porn. I probably won't. Not anytime soon. Anyway, we got a new item. We got 674 new items. Maybe that's what they'll get rid of in the new game. That is going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye bye